Now, Photoshop CS4 was not intended to be a very strong video editing tool. That's best left for like Premiere, Final Cut Pro, iMovie, Premiere Elements, applications such as that. But you can do some limited edits to short pieces of footage here in Photoshop. And I'm going to go over some of the basic editing techniques and how to use them all together in a project. I've got this video footage here. It's a uh, one second commercial. It has some audio in From it. Gilbert Autorama. Now audio isn't something we can really edit in Photoshop. Not the way you would think you could edit Photoshop. You can't fade up and down. You can't add effects or anything like that to it. So you can disable it on the layer. I've got one layer in here right now, one video layer. I can mute it just by clicking on this icon on the layer. Or I can turn all audio off by clicking this icon down at the bottom. And that mutes all layers. So if you don't want any audio in your project, then you can mute that uh, or you can mute each layer individually. So if I wanted audio to play, I wanted music or something in the background, I could bring in a video layer and uh, either put it down below all of my other layers or turn the opacity down but still leave it visible. I could turn on the audio for it and I could turn down opacity so that everything else shows through and then I can play and the audio will still be there. And that way I can add audio to my edited piece and do everything I wanted to in there. That's pretty much the extent of audio editing in uh, Photoshop CS4. So we'll just turn that off for right now. We're not going to use any audio at this point. Uh, to start with video editing, some of the basic video edits that we can make in here to start with is uh, like a crop or a split edit. And that is to just grab the edge of the bar here. Notice how it turns a light green. That means that is cropping it or splitting the video. Now we can do that at this point. I can move that to wherever I want and it's non-destructive. It's just kind of hiding the video layer. It's not really taking it away. It's not really cropping it like we're used to doing cropping of an image in Photoshop. This doesn't crop it quite the same way. It just kind of hides it at that point. And this is the basis for how video edits are done. We've got several options in here for doing this, but this is the most basic edit. Now I can manually do that, or I can move my time indicator to a point, bring it out here to five seconds, and then I can come over here to the palette menu and select trim layer start to current time. And that will do it specifically right to the time indicator. I can do the same at both ends. Move that to a point that I want. And then trim end to current time. And there it is. It's trimmed. Now what if I wanted to trim to that point, but I didn't want to waste the first five seconds here. Well, I obviously I can put other things in this place on the timeline, but I want to just have the movie start right here. So what I can do is move that down. I can grab the green space of this bar here. That's the actual layer. And I can move that along the timeline. So I can move that wherever I want in here. Say I wanted it to start right here where the Gilbert started. That's where I really wanted it to start then I can just move that along a time. So that's how you can actually move a video layer in time. So let's reset this back to where it was, get it back to where it's going, and let's actually look at some of our other editing capabilities here. Okay, in addition to cropping our uh, video or just moving it along the timeline here, we can do something that's called a slip edit. I'll say I wanted to crop to this point, crop there, and I've got five seconds of something that I want in there, but I don't necessarily want this video to start right at this point. I want it to start later on. I can grab this green area and I can move that back in time here and see how it's sliding underneath the visible space here. 
I'm not moving the whole layer, I'm just moving the content of the layer underneath. That's called a slip edit. Now you can punch that in on any layer at any time and just move things, nudge things a bit as you need to. And that's in lieu of moving everything along the timeline. Uh, do know that, of course, everything will follow you down here as well. So the point that that would be uh, helpful is if you do have several layers and you want to uh, just nudge something. You can't go any farther to the left, unfortunately, than uh, frame zero. So this is very limited uh, in its use. You have to move the whole piece at that point if you want to go past frame zero. But it does allow you to do uh, very minute uh, touches and, and uh, edits, yeah, especially if you've got several layers you're working on and you just want to do a little tweak. Now notice we could edit either end of this video layer. We can't come in here and cut a chunk out and uh, move it that way. It doesn't work that way. It's not like Premiere or Final Cut uh, where you can go in there and make slices and pull things out. This only allows you to, to make edits from the end. But there are a few other tools in here that we can use. So let's get this back to zero. And uh, say I want to come in here and cut out just this section here where the Gilbert is. I want to start right there. Well, I can move my workspace and right down to there, crop it. And then I'll move it down here right to the point where these kids are in the overhead shot. Move it to there. And then I can go over here to the palette menu and I can select lift work area. Now what that does is it duplicates my video layer and it removes that section of footage here. Even though it's not really gone, it's just hidden it. You can see what it's done here to the very first layer. It's made it cropped right there. It's duplicated the layer and then moved down to here and cropped it right to this point. So now I've got this hole in here. Well, the nice thing with that is I can put anything I want in there. So say I want to put another piece of video footage in there. Well, let me duplicate this layer. I'll duplicate the second layer. Control J or uh, Command J. We'll duplicate it. And let me move it down underneath these other two because I just want to have a hole in time. Well, what I can do is come down to this point in time where it first starts and move this layer to a point where I want it to show there. So just like I showed you, we can move this in time. I can slide this to where I want it. I'll say I want it to, uh, I'll show this this rack here, and I really want it to show the product because I'm going to put a different title in there. So let's see, we want to go to here. I don't want to show this kid yet. So let's move that so he's out of the picture. Okay, so now my workspace is just this area right here. Shows the wreck and it shows these lineup of cars here. That's good. Okay, say I want to put another title in there over top. Well, we can do that. Just add some text. And let's call this Speedway. All right, I've already got this uh, font selected here. I think it's kind of cool. Let me go ahead and make it just a little bigger here. And we'll make it a little more visible by adding a little drop shadow to it here. There we go. Just a simple drop shadow. We'll keep it simple. So now I've got this cutaway in here. I've got the text layer is underneath this edited hole. So I don't have to do anything with the text. I don't even need to animate the text. Let's move this back. And let's take a look at this. I'll let this render. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've shortened the workspace here and let a RAM preview. Let's play this through. See, there's our text. 
in our edited in video that's showing through this hole that we lifted out here. Then it goes right back in. So you can see it's just a matter of exposing layers, what's visible and what's not, along the timeline. So if you want to animate things inside that hole, if I wanted to animate the way the text came in, I could do that on its layer. That way I've got a little more of a complicated edit here. So what if I wanted to just make this uh, 30 seconds long? Well, I can just move my workspace down here. And then I've got a 30 second workspace right about there. And then I can have that end at that point. Well, I don't want to deal with the rest of this uh, area. So I can just come in here to my palette menu and then I can trim document duration to work area. And now I've got 30 seconds to work with. Notice that these bars go on beyond this point. That's a good thing because that way we've got more video to work with if we want to edit some more. And let's do that. Let's do what's called a uh, ripple edit. Let's come down to this point in time here. I don't want those to repeat because we already have those in there. So I'll come down to about here and I'll move my workspace down here. That's what selects time for editing. And we'll come down here, get past that point. We'll come down to the point where the kid's looking. There we go, right about there. All right, and what I want to do is select this layer here. That's the visible layer, it's the top one. And I want to be able to remove that piece of footage out of there. I want to just cut it out. I don't want to leave anything underneath it. I just want to get rid of it and uh, get this uh, footage back here to there. So I just come up here to the palette menu, select Extract Work Area, and again it makes another copy and this time instead of leaving a hole it takes the piece that was back here at the time indicator and moves it up here. So now it just skips that. So it goes right there to the kid. So now our whole video can play through. Now I'm not going to have enough RAM in here but I want to be able to see more of what's going on. So I can do something called frame skipping. Come up here to allow frame skipping. Bring this back to here. And now notice it's skipping frames but it's actually letting us see the process uh, that we've created here, the whole edit. So it's going to skip through, speed it up a bit, and uh, let us see where all our edit points are, make sure that everything's lining up right, and that way we get to have an overview of the entire piece without just having to change our work area to a little bit of uh, edits. That way we get a real feel for what the whole project looks like. So those are some real basic edits that you can make in Photoshop CS4. And uh, we'll get into some other little uh, tips on uh, creating. Oh, so we'll get into, geez, get, uh, go back to that. And we'll get into uh, faking some fades and transitions here in uh, the movies to follow.